This week on The Wire, property tip to lead revival, economy well placed for recovery, and loan breaks won't impact credit files. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate where you can get all the top stories happening this week in finance, real estate, investment, and more. Now please like, comment, and share this video, and if it's your first time tuning in, don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. So our top story for this week, property tipped to lead revival. A rebounding property market has led the recovery from past economic downturns because shelter is an essential commodity, and it will again. This is according to Propertyology Head of Research, Simon Presley. If you want to predict the future, look at the past, says Presley. Real estate led Australia out of the 1991 recession. The unemployment rate hovered around 10% that year and the subsequent two years. Over the three years ending in 1993, all capital cities produced property price growth, and that was ranging from 2% in Melbourne to 27% in Perth. Now, regional property markets were just as strong, if not stronger, including Townsville at 37%, Toowoomba at 33%, and Wagga Wagga 22%. It was a similar story 12 years ago with the global financial crisis, the biggest economic downturn in history, says Presley. Property prices again increased in eight out of eight capital cities over the three years ending in 2010. Darwin growing 32% and Melbourne at 21% were the best performing capitals, while Ballarat 19%, Bendigo and Launceston both at 18% were among many strong regional property markets. So far the market has held up well, so we don't see any reason why these past trends won't occur. Now guys, for our next story, economy well placed for recovery. So the Reserve Bank, which decided this week to keep official interest rates on hold, says Australia's financial system is resilient and that the economy will recover as soon as the virus is contained. Governor of the RBA, Philip Lowe, says there are some signs that markets are working more effectively excuse me, than they were a few weeks ago. Australia's extensive stimulus packages, together with the complementary measures taken by Australia's banks, will soften the expected contraction and help ensure that the economy is well placed to recover once the health crisis restrictions are removed. Lowe says these various responses are providing considerable support to Australian households and businesses through what is a very difficult period. Now, the Australian financial system is resilient. It is well capitalised and in a strong liquidity position with these financial buffers available to be drawn down if required to support the economy. So Australian banks and authorised deposit taking institutions have been given access to at least $90 billion in funding to help Australians, he says. And now for our final story of the week, loan breaks won't impact credit files. So home loan customers will not have their credit file marked with an adverse rating if they lose their jobs and have to ask their bank for repayment deferrals because of the economic crisis. The Australian Banking Association has announced that bank customers applying for payment deferrals will not have a missed payment or a hardship flag appear on their credit file. This approach to credit reporting means that banks will not notify credit reporting bureaus of a customer's missed repayments during the deferral period. This will give consumers peace of mind when entering into loan deferrals with their banks as their credit rating will not be negatively impacted. Now, Fiona Guthrie, CEO of Financial Counselling Australia, says financial counsellors are getting questions from clients about the impact of virus-related hardship on credit reporting scores. The ABA announcement puts the matter firmly to rest when it comes to interacting with the banks, and we welcome it strongly, she says. Well guys, they're the top stories this week. Now please remember to like, comment, and share this video. And don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Also, don't forget to stay tuned later in the week for our Just Ask Tim video series. And if you wanna submit a question or there's something you'd like me to discuss in more detail, there's a link in the post to do that as well. Apart from that guys, have a great week. And remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference, and that's action. Thanks, and see ya.